Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing another spiritually advanced reading. So this is for my um, audience that is going through a spiritual awakening or that um, have spirit spiritually awoken already. So how we're going to do this is you are going to pick whatever number you are guided to pick, whatever is you've been seeing lately, or you can just pick whatever you're guided to, or you can pick them all. Um, this will be a collective reading, so each reading will resonate with each other reading. I have a feeling. So that is it. And, and so before we begin, I just ask that you be open to receive the information that's coming through. So we want to be receptive to the information. And if you don't understand it now, uh, you will understand it uh, the further along that you get on your journey. Okay? So let's begin with number 143. Okay, so we are going to begin with number 143. And if you are old enough to remember back in the days when we used to have pagers, 143 used to mean, you know, I love you in pager code. So, you know, I as in one letter and then love had four letters and then you had three. So 143 was I love you. So anytime I see 143, it is telling me, it's the universe saying I love you. And um, yeah, so, uh, and I love that 43 came through. Love you. I mean, it's a beautiful synchronicity. So, the song that came through was uh, Prisoner by 311. So, it's interesting because uh, I do have a card reading for 311, so I have a feeling that 311 will also resonate for you. Okay? So, you know, what I'm seeing here um, in the song Prisoner. Okay, so... Um, a black ocean is the sky above, tiny lights bob, what star are you from? So as you begin to awaken your light body, um, you know, it's almost like you become a star. You know, that's, that's, that's spinning Merkaba. And it says, trapped in material plane. She wants to fly and they think she's insane, but she knows what she knows. Give that girl wings and that's all that she wrote. So I, I, I love that that came through as well because that's the inner goddess. That is the traitor. Exchange energy to create abundance. It's like people might think that you can't make money doing what you're doing. A lot of light workers have have problem accepting money for their um, their abilities and their talents and their gifts because you know a lot of us were taught that you know money is the root of all evil. Um, so we have to change our relationship with money. We have to change it to um, you know equal energy exchange because that's what we're doing. We are exchanging equal energy. We're just using money as a form of energy. So li laser lights pinpoint the top of my dome. And then through the body, as if Scotty's beaming up a wayward soul. Mutant races in ancient universe, dark shadows, humans rhyming in a reggae verse. It's gone if you blink. I could see it as soon as you think it. So this is, um, and then he says, I believe that you know more. To survive the dimension is four. So, four. Um, so what that's telling me is telepathy. A lot of you are waking up, awakening your telepathy abilities right here. Um, you are connecting with your your soul family. You are reading people's energy. Like, you know when people are being dece uh, deceptive, you know? So, yeah, that's a, that was a pretty cool um, thing to come through, Prisoner. And it's saying, you know, yeah, we're, we're, we're not stuck here. We have to change our, 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 the way we perceive our reality. This is, this is either prison or it's not. It's what we make it. So, you know, we have to change that. A lot of change <laughs> needs to happen. Okay? Um, because 143, when you add it up, is 8. And uh, that's abundance, you know? Love, so it's infinity as well. So love is the most infinite. It's the most powerful thing in the universe. Love. So when you're coming from your heart space, you see how he's holding on to his heart that's how the, the manifestation will occur through your heart and your third eye in unison. Okay, because look at her. She, this inner goddess has all the green. And that can be money, but that could also be heart. She's got all the heart, all the green. And she's got this yellow wreath, which is, um, to me, it's the willpower to manifest your desires and your abundance, right? So here's, a, here's another interesting one. 
Look at the things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. Oh, sorry, I keep getting out of frame. Um, so it's important to be yourself. So be your authentic self. Are you a healer? Are you a reader? Are you whatever you do, do it with heart and authenticity, okay? Because four and three over here is seven. That is truth. Nine is the humanitarian over here. So we are helping humanity ascend. So when you're seeing that, this is a reminder to love everybody around you. This is a reminder from the universe to you that you are loved. This is a reminder from your twin flame that you are loved, your divine counterpart. They love you, you know, and to always go back to your heart. Okay, and I love that he's, the traitor's got the dreadlocks, right? You know, the dreadlocks represent, you know, it's almost like um, the long hair is an extension of the nervous system. So the longer your hair, you know, there's an interesting story about the long hair, the Native Americans, you know, they, they keep their hair long for that reason. It helps them intuitively. So it's very interesting. Okay. And, you know, he's got the white cloth on his head. That's the connection, connection to source, Christ consciousness. So moving on to Aphrodite. Um, so let me just get to, let me, let me just get back to uh, number 12. So that's three, that's communicating. Communicate in your creative gifts and talents to the world. This is how you are going to make this abundance come through. So that's what I'm getting here. It's like, do what you love. Um, communicate your creative talents, you know. And this is also about epiphanies, having those aha moments, um, unexpected life changes. You know, sometimes we have unexpected life changes that take our abundance. You know, we got to put our money elsewhere. Um, so this is a requiring patience, you know, the power that lies in being oneself. And this is coming up with an unusual solutions to help uh, open up receptivity to abundance. Okay. And you are the inner goddess, you know? And it also says it's time to review your plans according to this card and look at things from a new perspective. Ask yourself, is it possible that a different approach would work better? Although it may feel like events have come to a standstill. This is, this is st temporary. So make use of the extra time you've been given to rethink your strategies. You may need to step outside of the norm and the mainstream right now and embrace your unique and eclectic beliefs or attitudes. It's also a good moment to be generous with your time, attention, and gifts because it will be returned to you by the universe many fold, okay? The universe rewards those with a passionate heart. Okay, so that's number 12, Awakening Archangel Gabriel. Beautiful card, Christ consciousness energy really connected to source, really awakening, he's ready to fly, okay? She's ready to fly. Uh, and uh, Aphrodite is the inner goddess. Um, awaken the goddess within you. So there's two awakening cards here. Um, you know, awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, appreciation of your divinity. So appreciate your gifts and talents. You know, if, if you're, there's a song by Edwin McCain and, and it's called I'll Be. And it says, emeralds from mountains thrust towards the sky, never revealing their depths. And it's like you have all this knowledge and wisdom and creativity and you're not sharing it with people. It's almost that perfectionism tendency. tendency. It has to be perfect before I can share it. No, just start sharing and it'll, everything else will follow through. So this is also talking about balancing the male energy and uh, the female energy, you know. Um, really tap into your, the right, right side of the brain, the feminine aspect, you know. Be receptive and open to the messages that are coming through. The synchronicities. Both, both cards are talking about synchronicities, okay. So be receptive. Okay, moving on to Honey Badger. And Honey Badger is fierce, okay. Honey Badger talks about having boundaries with people, right. Um, because... You know, you need to assert your power of, of what you value. What is your what is your work value? What is your healing abilities? What is the value of it? What is your energy exchange price? So, you know, people may try to um, doubt you, and it says um, it says Badger um, Honey Badger stands his ground and does not back down to naysayers who doubt his personal power. And what's the the band is Three Eleven. There's a song from Three Eleven that says "F the naysayers because they don't mean a thing because this is what style we bring." So this is, this is saying, yes, tap into, you know, your fierce nature. Don't care what other people think about this unique path that you're walking, you know. It's, uh, and it's also saying that you need to dig deep, dig deep within to reach the solution for your challenge at task. So we've got to dig for answers and come up with solutions so we can make this money. 
It is time for these light workers to start being abundant. This is our birthright. The universe is abundant. Let's tap into that energy, okay? And it's always about standing by your truth and integrity. Always be truthful and be of integrity. Always. Okay? And then finally, we're going, what's, what's the outcome here? Woot, woot. Of course. You look at woot, woot, and you already know. Higher heart chakra. Heart chakra. This is all like awakening, spiritual awakening. We are all awakening. I love you. This is perfect colors to come through. It says, um, it's party time. Hang the streamers, invite your friends, put on your dancing shoes. There has never been a better time to fist bump everyone you know. Joy to the world, smile to your face hurts. And I love that because this is a three year and it's the joyful year. So once we figure this out right here, we got to come up with some creative solutions, how to make this money using our, our creative abilities and gifts, how we help others. Um, you know, there is somebody out there willing to pay for your ability and your gift. So, you know, once you do that, that's it right here. And it's, uh, you know, it breaks down to 19, which is one, which is using your humanitarian gifts to, to lead the way. So your healing abilities, you know, this, this is time. It's a new beginning. You're awakening. Okay. So let's, let's move into that energy. All right. So, uh, sorry if I'm going a little fast guys. Uh, but I want to make sure that each video is at least no more than 10 minutes long. Okay, so there's a 143. Okay, everybody, so we are at 144. Now, what does 144 mean? So, you know, it's eight, four plus four is eight, and then nine, so the humanitarian, a completion of a cycle. Uh, you know, you are here to help others, you're a healers. When you're seeing it, you know, there is a big biblical reference to the 144,000 servants and prophets of God. Um, I will not go deep into that topic here, um, but if you're interested, a quick Google search of what is the 144,000 will give you the info that you're seeking. So, you know, it's the nine is the most spiritually evolved number in numerology, you know. So it's guiding you to be more service oriented and connect to your higher knowing, connecting to God, okay? Connecting to your higher self, prayer and meditation. Um, so this is asking you to, you know, really remember why you're here. You are serving the most high. Okay, and um, so Well Well was the song by Nelly Furtado. It says, um, well, well, what do I say? It looks like what goes around comes around. And everyone will have their final say sometime, someday. Looks like I only love God when the sun shines my way. Looks like I'm into divinity only when I can see its sweet, sweet rays. So yes, that's not appreciating, not being grateful. You're only grateful when the magic starts happening. Like, yes, awesome. Um, but what about the times that are trying? You know, this is like the times that, you know, you've had to channel strength, but you weren't grateful for where that strength was coming from, right? Then you get to the part where your heart just wants to die. Then you get to the part where your heart screams, it just sighs. Then you get to the part where your heart knows it's a crime. So it flies like a bird. It's heard, it's heard, it's heard. The word. So the word of God um, will set you free in a sense. And, the, you know, God can represent many things and, you know, religious aspects, but also your own inner, inner guidance. You, your own inner God. And uh, so I've got two different uh, things here. We've got the 11, which is the awakening number. We've got 17, which is the twin flame number, and we've got two, which is the very intuitive uh, peace, love, and harmony number, and we've got Kuan Yin, which is compassion. So this is a very, this is a very twin flame message. 144, when you see it, you know, that is the twin flame energy. That is the masculine and the feminine coming together, you know, to create the Trinity. Okay, so... We are going to start with number 11. Like I said, 11 is the in master intuition number. Um, it's very intuitive. Um, and two is very sensitive. So this is uh, uh, very interesting. So we got two, two, 22, master teacher. So if that resonates with you, teaching others, um, you know, being very compassionate towards others. Okay, so it says... Great inner strength, release harsh judgments, forgiveness, and compassion. You have two compassion cards. It couldn't be more synchronistic than that. So this card comes to you because you need to know that you're stronger than you realize. You can definitely handle your current situation. However, instead of powering through it, you're better off with an approach of compassion, kindness, and gentleness. The strength that the situation calls for comes from a softness of the spiritual core. So yes, tough love. Everybody's always thinks, oh, well, tough love. No, we have to have compassion with people. We want to have live in a compassionate and, and you know, loving world. Um, 
there's healthy boundaries, yes, um, but love is not tough. Love is love. Love does not hurt. Love is not painful. That's just the circumstances around the situations and relationships. That's got nothing to do with love, right? So this is talking about patience, forgiveness, um, using honey instead of vinegar. So, yeah. Okay, so let's get to Kuan Yin. I love, I love Kuan Yin. And, you know, wait, before we go to Kuan Yin, I just want to see this right here. Look at how beautiful this card is. Let me see if I can zoom in. There we go. I mean, she's riding on a, t on a lion here. Is that a lion or a tiger? <laughs> Which, uh, what? that's a tiger. She's riding on this tiger. She's got those golden wings of ascension. She's ready to fly. You know, she's flying. This is spiritual awakening energy. This is like connection to source, the Christ consciousness. And there's this pastel rainbows coming through. Very soft. Very soft kundalini energy. Very higher heart chakra colors. So, you know, the lighter the colors the more they are connected to the Christ consciousness, okay? Because once we get to the top, gold and white, right? So we mix those colors together, we get a softer color. So this is soft, compassionate, higher heart energy. A lot of you are, uh, if you're anything like me right now, I'm going through my higher heart chakra, uh, kundalini rising energy, and I've just been, you know, intensely just... Oh, yesterday I was crying and I was happy and I was giddy and it's just this intense, joyful, loving energy. Okay, so Black Rhino, we always know that Black Rhino, he's got tough skin. He doesn't care what other people think of the unique journey that he walks. You know, he's, he's got these magical horns and people are always, you know, trying to poach him because they want what he has. They want his powers. And, um, you know, so this is about, you know, once again, you know, the healthy boundaries aspect. Um, and... Yeah. And, you know, what aspect of yourself will you leave behind for future generations, you know? Protect what you have created. Um, and this is talking about, you know, you planted the seeds and see your seeds grow. The little rabbit, follow the rabbit. You know, you've seen, the, you know, Alice in Wonderland and the Matrix. Um, let me just, uh, I made notes on these cards. These are the new cards. Somebody gifted these to me. I'm so very grateful. Um, but I want to talk about, because I think I saw, yeah, so we have um, lavender. You have lavender there, and this purple, you know, third eye crown chakra energy here, this lavenderish color. And so you've planted the seeds of intuition and um, your healing practice and all this stuff. You're planting the seeds, you've, you're manifesting, creating dream boards, writing in your journals, etc. So, very cool. That's what that's telling me. Um, so, and baggage be gone. Um, 17, the twin flame number, like I said, it's eight, which is all about abundance. So it's, you know, abundance is coming for a lot of you. And it says, come on now, aren't you tired of being stooped over from all that emotional baggage? The thing is, it all happened yesterday. This is now. And with one flick of your powerful energetic finger, you can send that old has-been baggage overboard into the drink. It is high time to fly free. Let it go, my friend. Yes. Oh, my God. It, yes. A lot of people are having a hard time letting go of people, attachments, um, breakups, uh, grief. It's, like, it's time to let it go. Um, that uh, we, can't, uh, it's, we can't float or rise up with heavy baggage weighing us down. There, you know, this is the twin flame number, and it's saying, you want to connect with your twin flame? You need to let go of the X's, the baggage that you're carrying. It's time to have compassion for them and the journey and thank them for what they've taught you. Um, but it's time to move forward because the seeds have been planted and this amazing love is going to grow. And um, for compassion, I'm getting the energy of like, you know, release judgments about yourself and others. And it's like being judgmental, like, oh, they hurt you and now you want to, you know, scream you know, you know, F the world, you know, but it's saying release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. So they taught you a lesson. They prepare in you for what's next. And if you see this beautiful pastel, higher heart chakra energy, this Christ consciousness, it's like, that's, ah, uh, my heart is like pinging right now. This is that higher, higher consciousness energy. And, um, 
Yeah, so Kuan Yin, I'm going to read Kuan Yin because I just love Kuan Yin. And it's talking about releasing guilt and shame to heaven for healing and transmutation. So if you've been feeling guilty about, you know, going down this path, you know, this new ascension path, letting people go, you know, sometimes we, we feel guilty, feel guilty about, you know, abundance, feel guilty about accepting abundance, feel guilty about letting go of relationships, feel guilty about, you know, evolving. And it's like, let that go. Let it go. Let, let it go so the universe can flow more things into your life. So, and forgive yourself and others. You know, don't be so hard on yourself. Uh, release the perfectionist tendencies. Because two care so much about what other people think of them. And it's like, release that. Everything is perfectly fine the way it is. Uh, just start it. Start, start your project. Start whatever you've been planning, your business, whatever. Even if it's just baby steps, just get started. M -m progress, move, move the wheels. See those little wheels, little circles there? Get the little hamster wheel going. Okay. And it's number three. It's creative, creativity. So whatever is, uh, creativity you've got going on, um, use it. Use your talents to create your reality. Okay. So moving on to three, eleven. Okay, guys, so we're moving on to 311. So 3 is communication, 11 is inspiration. So it's urging you to inspire and lead others using your creative self-expression. It's also the name of a band. Uh, so if you're familiar with 311, you understand the 311 Familia. Now, the song that came through it, well, it's also 5. So 5 is all about uh, freedom, change, adventure, right? It's about uh, changing things that are no longer working. Okay, so when we start seeing that, it's like, let's change things. Let's get creative. Let's have creative solutions. Okay, so the song that came through uh, for 311 is Ghost in You by the Psychedelic Furs. Um, so immediately when I hear that song, I know that it's on the album Mirror Moves. So what is a mirror? Your twin flame. So this is twin flame energy. This 311 reading is for twin flames. I have a feeling that everybody that's watching this reading right now is, is part of that twin flame collective, if you're resonating with what I'm saying. Um, and whenever I, I think of Ghost in You by the Psychedelic Furs, um, Psychedelic Furs, I don't know why it reminds me of Get Him to the Greek, the movie with, uh, Russell Brand and Jonah, Jonah Hill. Um, there's a scene in the movie where they're, they're all hopped up on, you know, mushrooms and I don't know what, and they're just feeling up on this wall, this furry wall. Um, so that's reminds me of that. And Get Him to the Greek, you know, the movie was about this rock star who, who was just worn out, you know, um, and, uh, yeah, he's just, like, worn out, he's like, how much, how much longer can I do this, you know, he wants to give up, but then when he realizes, you know, I'm doing this because of the people in the audience, this is why I'm doing it, I'm doing it for the other people, so as much as this, this journey for us is draining sometimes, we're doing it because what we do helps other people, it heals them. And we may not think it does, but it does, you know. So, yeah, that's a, you know, and Ghost in You is also, uh, it reminds me of telepathy, uh, haunted by an energy in a sense. Um, I'm seeing this blue color here. So it's like this, this uh, uh, you know, communication, telepathy. And um, almost like dreaming of somebody, you know, haunted by their energy, Um Wanting to communicate with them and, and sending them to telepathic messages. Okay? So, moving on to High Priest. Intend and create. Um, so, immediately, we see the Anubis. We see the Waz Scepter. You know, I see all this copter, copper, which is about receiving. And, you know, I'm seeing this Merkaba right there. You know, divine inspiration. You see how it's like, it's almost beaming up divine information into this, and it's beaming down, you know, the, this sacred geometry, right? And I see the snake on top of his head, which is the Kundalini awakening, Kundalini energy, you know, they really knew about all this stuff, you know, in, inner power. So light body, Merkaba, they knew all about this, like astral travel and connecting, you know, the astral plane, connecting with somebody in the astral plane, Right? 
So, you know, this thing that I was seeing with the ghost of you, the telepathy, it's like meeting your, your partner in the astral realm, right? Okay, so, and, you know, he's the divine masculine. This is the divine masculine energy, you know. Uh, in many traditions, a high priest is the physical embodiment of the divine masculine. He acts as a bridge between worlds and is, is, not, is able to not only divine the future, but to help create it too. So he's a manifester, you know. He's a leader in, in, in his own right. So always spiritually connected, always spiritually disciplined. Um, so spiritual leader, spiritual teacher. Very cool. Whoops. Whoops, a daisy. Okay. And so we got 31. I spent a little time on that one because it just needed to. 31 is superhero. And I love it because I got, got my little Batman here. So 31 is four, which is about, you know, the teacher. So that's the teacher. This is the teacher. Um, and it's four or five, so it's ascending. So I'm seeing ascension energy. I'm seeing the, the, the masculines are awakening. They, they are te they've, they've already awoke. They're, they're here, right? And, you know, superhero, four. So they're leading with their creativity. They're mas creating their reality. They are. Okay. And uh, superhero says, right now you've got superhuman strength. The truth is, you always do. You always do. But most of the time, you don't need it. Why bother? Everything's rocking along just fine. You're about to learn just how cool, how strong, how amazing you really are. Yeah, you are amazing. Okay, so I love that superhero. Okay, so five of fire. Competing uh, goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. So this is like group uh, energy, you know, everybody's got a different idea of which way the, the, the creative project can go and which way, you know, whatever it is, whether this be an architecture project or a musical project or an acting project or a writing project. It's like, if you're working with other people, this is like everybody, right? And they're like, everybody's going one way. They're all a different color. They're all, they all have a different aura color, right? But look at who's in the center, the superhero. Okay, so five of fire. Um, you know, we know that's uh, the in intuition, the communication uh, fire energy. Um, so, and this is talking about competition, you know, uh, and the need to set priorities and being caught in the middle of things and bothersome details that, you know, really don't mean anything. You know, little details sometimes, it's like they take away from the bigger picture. It's like when you zoom, keep zooming in too much, it's like you don't, get to zoom out and see the bigger picture. So sometimes the little details, sometimes they're okay when you're creating, you know, an art painting. It's like those little details really, but um, sometimes not when you're working in a group project because some people probably don't see like you do. Some people's third eye is not awoke. So they, they're not seeing it the way you are, right? The third eye when it's awoke, it is everything slows down to the nanosecond and you see every little detail. But when somebody's not, they're not seeing your bigger picture. So... And it's talking about, um, it, it's a competitive situation, you know? This is almost like, you know, band energy. Um, and it's funny that 311 is a band. Um, so, you know, you may enjoy this type of challenge or it may exhaust you. You know, this is a competitive situation. It would be necessary for everyone to try to understand one another's viewpoint. There's a need for clarity in order to come to a resolution, okay? And... Um, I like, and, and I, I like that the monkey came out because it's, it's like saying, don't take things too seriously. Everybody's taking everything so seriously. Why so serious? Right? And I love it. Batman and the Joker. It's like, why so serious? Like, come on, guys. Um, so 26, I love the monkey. He's a little yellow monkey. You know, he's adventurous. He's fun. 26 is 8, which is about abundance and infinity. And... Um, you know, it's time to climb out of your comfort zone. Get adventurous, you know. If you, if you can't come up with ideas, you know, take some time by yourself, you know. So, okay. Um, you know, it's like the, the monkeys, they play king of the castle. It's like, quit it. <laughs> it's like, quit it, man. Okay. Make things fun. And then so we move on to Bast, and Bast, you know, she is the goddess, the Egyptian goddess, you know, the cats. And so this is telling me this cat energy is like protecting, you know, the cats, they protect against the lower energies, right? So um, 
you're fiercely independent, yet you also need affection and playful companions. So I love this playful companion thing. Now is the time to balance your social interactions with solitude. While you may ask others for their opinion, ultimately you must make your own decisions. Your freedom and independence are top priorities. So ensure that these characteristics are nurtured. Yes. You know, spend time alone. Give yourself permission to play. Um, ask for your needs to be met. You know, make your own decisions. It's like I feel like other people are making the decisions and you, you don't have a say. And it's like, oh, I'm over that. I'm over that. You know, and it's also talking about to pay attention to your pets. And, you know, if you want to work with cats, whatever. Cats could be people. You know, like the slang, like, oh, these cats. You know, maybe you need to find some new cats to play with. Okay? Um, yeah. So, and finally, we've got... Let's get through with the number and made some notes on everything so this could go much smoother. So the everything breaks down to, you know, 17 and 8. So 17, once again, is the twin flame number. Here we go. This is the divine masculine twin flame energy here. Um, and it's 8. 8 is abundance, you know. It's like you have the ability to create abundance. All you got to do is learn how to work well with others or be independent. One or the other because something's got to give. Okay. That is it. Okay, moving on to the next one. I think I spent a little too much time on this one. Moving on to 314. Okay, so pi. You know, what is pi? Um, it's a mathematical constant. It's never ending. Um, you know, so, uh, you know, what is pi? It's, it's, you know, 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. Th 2 plus 3 is 5. Um, and it just keeps going. It's never ending. It never stops, right? I'm sorry, I'm trying to get some, like, lighting in here. Okay, so, you know, and, and it's, it's never ending. It's, it, the possibilities are endless. So when I see it, it's reminding me that their possibilities are ending, uh, are endless. And, um, you know, no one ever really dies. Energy just transfers. We are never ending with unlimited possibilities. There are millions of forks in our road. So, you know, which, uh, which road are you going to take? Each one. It's like choose your own adventure. So to me, 314 is the choose your own adventure um, number. It's eight, which is abundance. Which means that it's an abundant universe. It's never ending, unlimited possibilities. Okay, now the song that came through for 314 is Newfound Glory, Truth of My Youth. So the song says, um, There was a time and place where I never thought I'd leave my own hometown, but those days are finally, uh, those days finally are dead and gone. It was never my intention to stay there. So, yes, it's expanding beyond where you're at. You don't have to stay where you're at, you know, you can, you can move. Um, there was a conscious effort played by me to disown anything I see. There was a girl I knew way back when who says she doesn't know me anymore. And that tells me that we've grown so much that people don't even know who we are anymore. They don't recognize us anymore. You know, that's how strong our growth game is. It's like this expans expansive energy. Um, and it talks about... These are my thoughts written down on paper. It's my only savior from not saying what I want to say. So journaling, you know, when we release things on the journal, then, you know, we don't lash out with people because it's a, it's a very healthy way to release our emotions, um, you know. And it's, uh, I'm also seeing it like memory lapses, you know, as we begin to spiritually awaken and connect to source, the more we are connected to source, the more we lose uh, memories that were not that important. You know what I mean? It's almost like we're like a computer and we run out of memory. So we got to like delete some old files that no longer serve us. Um, so a lot of people get memory lapses. Um, you know, people tell you, hey, remember this? And you're like, I have no idea. Or like, let's say you have Facebook and you get a memory and you're like, when the heck did I write that? <laughs> but it's also telling me about, um, you know, the, the, that first love feeling, you know, when you're on the phone for hours with somebody. There were countless hours on the telephone. My ears were ringing from the dial, dial tone. You know, and it's like wanting to go back to that, that, that simple state of, you know, that childhood bliss, that teenage, you know, that, that feeling of love. And I have a feeling a lot of you are feeling that, um, like your heart chakra is opening up and you're feeling that magic of that first love energy. Okay. So one, the magician, you know, the magician, uh, I love it. So we got the hunter to track down your fears and desires. So, the hunter, um, 
So it's the stag, gentleness, you know, psychic horns. You know, we're seeing, I'm seeing these horns and it's like, you know, he's, he's very creative. He's got all this blue communicator. He's, you know, he he's, communicates and he's got these horns and the horns have psychic abilities, you know. And so when our third eye begins to open, we see things that are very fearful. All these things that come up from our subconscious come up and they, to, to the light for transmutation and it's scary so you know this is asking you to look within you to track down your fears and, and your desires what do you want what do you want to manifest with that third eye energy you see how this third eye has got that like beautiful you know spiral i associate the pie also with the fibonacci sequence for some reason um and i'm seeing that that love that pie came through and the spirals came through i love it i love 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 that i don't know why this thing's not zooming the way it's supposed to sorry guys Okay, there he is. There he is. He's fancy. He's a stag. He's gentle. He's gentle in his, uh, you know, very gentle man. Okay. So, but he's also the magician, you know, Archangel Raziel. You are ready. You have the resources and the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. It is. Right now, life is super magical. <laughs> if you are going, oops, if you guys are going through this spiritual awakening right now, oops, what's going on with this phone? The spiritual awakening right now, like, yeah, so if you look at, you know, the magician, he's infinite. He's tapped into that infinite, oh, for goodness sakes. He's tapped into that infinite knowledge, that infinite wisdom. He's got that gold. Look at, he's got like, what's that infinity belt? <laughs> he's got the infinity belt around his waist. He's harnessing the magic. He is reborn. He is starting over and he is reborn. He is awoke, woke. You got this. You are woke. You are like harnessing the energy of the power of, the, of everything around you. You are seen. And you are manifesting your dreams and your desires. You know, he's got that golden halo. The rainbow, almost rainbow halo. Okay. I love that card. Okay, so we're going to get to the magician. And, you know, it says uh, it's the right time to begin new projects. You know, if you had any doubts about your abilities to manifest your dreams, leave them behind. This is what this is kind of saying. Like that third eye ability to manifest. Oh, why does this thing get... Sorry, guys. All right. Manifest your dreams, you know. Uh, have self-confidence in your abilities. You know, fortunately, the angels can boost your inner strength. You know, call upon them for help. Although you might not feel prepared to move forward in manifesting these dreams, it's like you are ready. You know, it's not necessary to take any more classes or read any more books. You, you, you are ready. No more procrastination. You know, magic is happening right now. Concentrated effort. Unexpected resources are Sorry, <laughs> unexpected resources are coming. I got excited with this one. My earpiece fell out. So yeah, you know, the door's open, guys. It's open for you. Just walk right through. This is your chance. What did you want to manifest? This is your chance. Okay. Now we're moving on to Irene, and she's all about peace. I love her. She's got this, like, this baby. She's got this beautiful hair, and she's got this... I don't know why this doesn't zoom when I want it to. You know, she's got this, the, the dolphins, so she's very intuitive. You know, there's no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. Right now, the magic of synchronicities is like off the chain with people, this intuition. And she's got this like intuitive project. This is a baby. It's very intuitive. You know, that, it's got that crown chakra and, and third eye energy. You know, so yeah. Irene. Come on, Irene. <laughs> I know it's Eileen. So, you know, give your cares and worries to heaven. Pray, meditate, engage in peace-enhancing activities such as yoga, sea salt baths, massages, music, playfulness, and the like. So, yeah. Okay. Moving on to uh, detox. So, frog is always detox to me. Um, yeah, a little sticky frog, you know, jumps around. But this, this card is about detoxing. Um, you know, we need to detox our body. If you want to manifest some stuff, like, you know, I'm doing this fast right now. I'm not saying I recommend it, but, you know, it's a, it's a detox process, right? And um, helps you connect to source uh, with more clarity, right? So, I love that little frog. And it's talking about not just cleansing yourself, but your environment, you know, that hoarding. So, you want to connect your crown chakra. You need to, like, really have simple surroundings, um, you know, because clutter blocks that, that crown chakra. 
Uh, but it's also talking about clarity, you know, be clear on what you wish to release and receive. So this is all manifestation. What are we letting go and what are we receiving now? What are you ready to receive now? You know, it's ready for you. All you got to do is have the intention. Oh, Lord, this does, does just keeps not zooming <laughs> or, you know. Okay, so now we're moving to, uh-huh, you, hey, you. Hey You. There's a song by 311 called Hey You. So if that interests you as well, you can feel free. But 16 is 7. That is truth and spirituality going inward. This talks about meditation. So yes, it's about finding your inner peace. This like this, If you're doing this like a, a fasting, uh, it's going to bring you this tremendous peace. So we'd like to interrupt this oracle deck with a very important announcement. There's nothing to fear. Every single thing that looks ominous is but an illusion. It has no power. Zip, nada, zilch. It's time to look your fears straight in the eye and call them out as the insignificant posers they really are. Yes, track down your fears. This is like perfect, perfect synchronicity, you know, perfect synchronicity, almost feeling like you're going to be stuck wherever, where you are forever, and you're not. It is time. This year is a time to really get out there and manifest your dreams, guys. And um, so it was 19, 10, 1. You know, so 1 is all about new beginnings. So we are 1 right here. So we got 1, and then we got 11, 11. So 11, 11. This is the awakening call, wake-up call. This is, you know, you guys are awakening. This is it. you got infinite and unlimited possibilities. It is time. You know, write them down on a journal, create a dream board. I've been saying this all year or <laughs> all year. It's only January. Um, but since my last reading, I've been saying it. Actually, no, I've been saying it since last, last December, I think. But yeah, definitely. Okay. So this is, you know, that, that solar plexus chakra right here. It's like you have the willpower to create your reality of your dreams. It is time to do it. You have the intuition. You have the golden wings. You have infinity behind your side. You have infinite possibilities. I mean, if you look at the magician, he's got the infinity symbol on his freaking head. Well, if, the, if my phone would zoom in on it. See, he's got infinity symbol on his head. He's got infinite possibilities. He's got the infinite abundance of the universe. Okay? Don't forget it. Don't you for, and don't you forget it. Okay? Moving on to 3, 6, and 9. Okay, so for 3, 6, 9... Um, two cards fell out, so we're doing two extra um, ancestor cards. And um, I'm going to start by talking about 369. So, if you guys know, are familiar with Nikola Tesla, uh, if you only knew the magnificence of 369, you would have a key to the universe. Now, 3, 6, and 9 in numerology are the creators of numerology. So without them, the universe does not exist. Um, every number plays a key role in this symphony of life. You know, it's reminding you to remember your role, to create. You are the creators, okay, guys? You are the creative, whatever it is you're creating, you are creating this new earth, okay? Baby steps. It's like we are newborns and we are waking up to this new earth and, um, and the science, the, 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 this could not be any clearer, guys. I mean, retreat and recharge, Meditate, meditate. This is also meditate. You got three different meditation. Three. Magic number three. You got three different meditation um, cards. So this one's going to probably be a little bit faster than the other ones because it's pretty much they are all saying the same thing in order to tap into your, you know, your, your, your elder role uh, as an elder on this new earth in a sense. You know, you, you, you're stepping into that elder role. You've got the knowledge and the wisdom that uh, other people don't have. So... You know, but you need to remove, move beyond your ancestral patterns, you know. And I love this. I love this card. Like, look at all this. I just, this, um, my phone doesn't like to zoom in on stuff. I love it. Like, you got the armadillo, you got the snake, you got the lizard, you got the turtle, you got all those circles. It's a beautiful card. Elder. Okay, so... Now, uh, the song that came through for you guys is, oops, I wrote it down, um, The Emotions by Borns. Holy cow, Borns, B-O-R-N-S. And look at Baby Sex. You guys are being reborn. You guys are reborn, guys. This is amazing. Um, so yeah, it's, you know, it's talking about going inward, um, healing. Um, the emotions are inside of you. 
uh, and it's like tapping into them. Um, so going inward, traveling inward, it's also almost also uh, astral travel. Um, if you look at her, she's almost in the stars as in astral form. Look at her. Sige, she, Sige, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll get to that. But, you know, she's quiet. She's meditating like this guy right here. And she's astral traveling. So this is like astral travel. Uh, you know, meet me in outer space type of energy here. And she's got this beautiful aura of love. You know, it's beautiful. Take some quiet time. And, you know, listen to what comes through, you know. They say prayer is talking to God, but uh, meditation is listening to what God has to say. And uh, the art of communication is not just talking, but listening, going back and forth. That's what the wild dog talks about, you know. And also seeing wild dog is like finding your soul pack, your wolf pack in a sense, you know. So um, the, the Bourne's lyrics is shadows fill my mind up. Zeros tell me that my time's up. I lost count so long ago. Maybe my heart's numb. Don't hold my hands accountable. They're young and they're dumb. So they're young. You guys are young and you guys are learning this spiritual journey. And yes, you guys are going to make mistakes. And you guys are going to uh, believe that something is true and then find out it's not. And, you know, this is the, 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 the process, you know. It's a uh, trial and error, right? Um, you know, and it's talking about drives through time zones. And so when I see drive through time zones, uh, I'm, I'm seeing people that travel a lot for business or work or however, you know, flight attendants, uh, salesmen, uh, musicians, you know. And so, yeah, so, but it's also traveling as in like a spiritual traveler, uh, the, the walk-in souls, the travelers. And I'm also seeing, um, you know, yeah, that's the emotions bottled up inside. So all the emotions are inside of me. Um, and it's like, you need to tap into that, tap into it all. And so we're going to get to, um, so baby steps. Um, everything is baby powder fresh right now. It's new. It's exciting. And of course, you're not quite sure how it's going to work out. You're, you're not supposed to. It would ruin the surprise. But go ahead. Take that first step. <laughs> All great quests have got to begin somewhere. I love that. I'm seeing new relationships. That feeling of newness, of excitement. Like, oh my God, this person is amazing. This person is like, ooh, child. And you got to take that first step, you know? You got to take that first step. All babies have to take that first step. And you've probably taken many steps. And you've fallen many times. And now you've actually got sturdy feet. Like, oh, oh, I can wear shoes now. And I'm walking. And I'm like running away from my parents. And causing mayhem. Okay, so we talked about wild dog. We talked about quiet time. Um, but I want to I figure out how to pronounce her name just because I want to. And... She does, oh, here it is, Sig, oh, Sig, Sieg, Sieg, you know, she's the, the goddess of silence in the void, so I'm seeing also twin flame connection here, I'm also seeing um, connecting astrally with your divine counterpart in the dream world, in the dream state, but also tele telepathically here on earth, like, you guys are, like, so connected on frequency, it's almost scary, like the synchronicities are uh, off the chain in the, in the sense. So, yeah. And so meditation helps you connect even more, you know. I'm loving this hermit card. Okay. I'm going to get to, um, like I said, this is a, these cards were a gift from somebody. So I'm very grateful whoever got them for me. I have no idea. So, you know, the hermit, you know, you see in the background, he's got this Riantra star. And that's like everything. That is everything. Sun, moon, earth spirit, da, 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 everything. That represents everything. And tapping into the universal source. So what I'm seeing it's like a universal source. He's, and it's almost like, it looks like he's in his Merkaba light body, right? He's tapping into that astral energy, that universal energy. He's got that third eye right there, passionate. He's creating passion in his life. He's got red. It's like red and passion and love. He's, got, he's trying to manifest love is what I'm seeing. He's trying to manifest passion and romance and love. He's trying to, he's trying to manifest his twin flame. So it's that hermit energy. And, you know, he's doing his mudras. He's in his meditative state. And he's, he's, he's really trying to, you know, do his thing. 
And it's all about connectedness as well, being connected to everything. When we get to that meditative state where we are one with everything, you know, knowing that all sentient beings are one, we are all connected, uh, you know, the vegans, this is, this is like the vegan energy, like wanting to start leading less meat, really seeing that, you know, they are all sentient beings and they all have emotions and feelings and, you know, yeah, and I love it. It's got the dreadlocks, which is to me, you know, uh, the extension of the nervous system. So very connected spiritually, very in tune, very psychic, very psychic. And he's in a cave, you know, he's been hermit. He's just, it's, it's like that hermit energy. Okay. And what's he doing in that her in that cave? He's becoming the elder. Right. And, you know, he's got the armadillo, which is protection. You know, he's got that protection. But what's an armadillo? It's got that protection on the outside, but it's soft on the inside. It's protecting itself. You know, it doesn't want to get hurt. Um, but we have to have faith that we're not. We have to have faith that everything happens for a reason. So even if you do get hurt, it was a lesson that needed to be learned. Right. So. I'm also seeing the Kundalini, the energy of the Kundalini right there. And I'm seeing this, the staff of all wisdom. Like this is a, you know, he's tapped in, you know, we, t we connect with our ancestors to learn what not to do in this life, right? We are expanding our consciousness and awareness. We are coming full circle, right? And the lizard is rejuvenation. We are being reborn. This is all reborn. We are reborn. You guys are, are reborn. This is like spiritual awakening, like you open up, you opened up your eyes and you're like, whoa, what is this new world? It's almost 5D energy. This like love, love everywhere. Right? And the turtle, be patient, baby steps, be patient, we'll get there. We will connect with our soul family, we will get there. Everything takes patience because guess what? When you're patient and you meditate and you go inward and you know, you listen to the, the signs and synchronicities because they're guiding you is yours yeah you see that he's got the infinite abundance everything that he's ever wanted is there you know as above so below a job well done joy contentment and gratitude the path toward enlightenment so yes this is enlightenment energy right here guys if you've been seeing 369 ooh, child you have been experiencing some stuff you have been experiencing synchronicity is like nobody's business, right? And 21.3 is about you know, the Holy Trinity. So the divine masculine and the divine feminine coming together in union. So this is like twin flame union energy. You guys are connected in the 5D and now you're bringing it down to earth in the 3D. So we are connecting it down here, right? You guys are free. You guys are free to come together now. There's nothing stopping you guys. Oh, this thing just does not... Sorry. <laughs> um... Yeah, there's nothing stopping you guys. So, you know, perfection, a move to the next level, receiving an award, a new house or a job, complete clarity. Yes, gosh, oh, that's the one that I always, I always wish for is clarity. Cosmic awareness, recognition for the use of your talents and freedom. Look at that. And there's the five. That's freedom. You guys are free. You guys are free. You guys are starting over. It's like somebody gave you a new life and you're like, uh, you can't believe this magic existed. It's like, where, was, where has this been all my life? Where the heck have you been? Where have you been all my life? How are we just connecting now? How am I just seeing this now? How did I never see this before? This has always been there? Really? Holy cow. It's like that energy I'm getting. Like, this has always been here and I just didn't know because other people had already been tapping into this energy for years and centuries, you know? So... It says, the angel sent you this card because you've happily completed something of great importance. They're congratulating you on a job well done. You're now ready to move on to something new. Enjoy your feelings of wholeness and completion and give yourself a pat on the back for your amazing accomplishments. You've grown spiritually, I'm talking exponentially, and have evolved to a whole new level in your understanding of the universe. You've experienced significant enlightenment and have expanded your consciousness of how to attain joy and contentment. You feel a great sense of gratitude and it's Archangel Michael and he, I have a real intense connection with Archangel Michael. He's connecting me to my twin flame. So this is a beautiful synchronicity for me. Um, we're all connected. So my reading is your reading and your reading is my reading and it's a beautiful thing and I just love it guys. I just love it. So 
Yeah, so we've got five, uh, six, seven, eight, so it's nine, the completion of a cycle. You've, you've completed the cycle, and now you're moving into this new humanitarian world, the, the new earth, where we're all just loving and helping each other grow, and we're learning, and, and we are, you know, we're done with this old way of being. This is the new us, you know. Nikola Tessa talked about, you know, to understand the universe, you have to understand, you know, vibration and energy and frequency, and you are understanding that. So now you are in becoming enlightened. You're getting it. You're understanding what this world was all about. You're getting sacred geometry. You're understanding what the crop circles are all about. You get it. Right? If you didn't get it before, you're getting it now. Subconscious. You know? Okay, that was, a, that was awesome. <laughs> that was pro- that's probably my favorite one so far. So but we'll see how the rest of this goes. Okay, moving on to 616. Okay, everybody, moving on to 616. Uh, You know, 616 is asking us to balance. So anytime we see one in the center, that represents you, the one, right? Uh, The one. So, and and beside the one is a six and a six, so that's balance. So it's asking you to balance and nurture both your masculine and feminine side. You know, the left and right brain uh, are yin and yang energy. Um, If you're constantly running on one side of your brain, you're missing out on the power of using both sides of the brain in unison. So almost being ambidextrous, you know, using your left hand and your right hand really helps balance. And it's a reminder also because six is also the family number. It's reminding you that you have family surrounding you. You know, you are not alone. Okay? So. Now the song that came through. um, Wait, six... 12, 13, so that's number four, so building foundations for the future. It's the teacher number. You are learning a lesson, um, but you're also teaching. Um, so I'm, I'm seeing like healer energy. So like teaching almost like Master Reiki type of energy, right? And the song that came through was Newfound Glory Ending in Tragedy. And, you know, usually I would think of that song because I'm trying to see things with new eyes. So the old world you know, dying, Um, but it's also breakups, but it's also grief, you know, the the tragedy of losing somebody, you know, and what does that do? It builds walls around you, builds walls around your heart, uh, so you don't get hurt, you know, walls keep, keep people out, but it also keeps love out, you know, love is a healing energy that you need to heal, Um, and it's also telling me you try to save others that don't want to be saved, right, because uh, the lyric is, and I'm going to put all the lyrics in, uh, I'm going to put everything below. But I tried to save us, but little did I know that you are a speeding train off track with little time to go. So if it's meant for somebody to, to go, there's nothing you can do about it. Everybody's on their own individual journey, okay? And, okay, so that's, that was that. Um, And it's talking about now it's our time. Uh, I'll see you on the other side. So you are transitioning from the 3D into this 5D energy of love. You are transitioning into the new earth. You are going to new earth in a sense, you know. New earth is a state of mind. Um, And they're not. uh, And that's okay. You know, we we have to leave a lot of people behind. um, Because they're not wanting to evolve and grow. Right? So, all right. So we're going to go to uh, Medicine Guardian. And I love it. He's got the caduceus. You know, he's making a little elixir. It's almost like a healer using herbs, using what Mother Earth provided us. He's got the sacred geometry of the flower of life, which is the connectedness to everything. We are all part of this beautiful, you know, tapestry of amazing awesomeness. And he's got, and it's all about love. This new earth is all about love and helping others and tapping into the Mother Nature and her healing powers, right? Okay, so... Earth Guardian is seeing everything with love, you know, spirit connection. He's got the Caduceus, which is the Kundalini energy, the Kundalini rising, really intuitive energy. Whenever I see the Caduceus, it's very intuitive energy. Um, I'm not sure if this symbol here is um, a a sun or a turtle. Um, Either way, you know, that sun energy, harnessing that, the the will, the sun is very healing, that vitamin D energy uh, really helps your pineal gland. So I'm uh, like sun gazing, I'm seeing. And looking at Matt over here, oh my God, this is like one big 
ball of symbolism everywhere. She's got the white feather, which is like that connection to, to, to source. You know, she's got the white bird, you know, peace, that inner peace. She's reaching that enlightenment state. She has been reborn because we see the flower here. Um, I forgot what this is called, but I know it means rebirth. And there's a few of them. So, yeah, she's been reborn into this new earth. We, I have a feeling a lot of you, like, this has been the theme um, for a lot of these readings. So if you've been seeing these numbers, you definitely are being reborn into this new earth. And um, Hyena, 36, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 is the completion of a cycle. We know that. And... Um, so, you know, hyena is all about communication. You know, they scream and laugh with hysteria to communicate with their fellow creatures. You know, ask yourself where and with whom you may have been repressing your true feelings uh, and, and inhibiting honest expression. Uh, what you have to say is important and valuable to others. Trust the power of your communication today and reveal your personal truths. And so in doing so, you will bring clarity and ease to your throat chakra. And so when we finally get that energy flowing through the, the throat, it comes up to the third eye and to the crown. So when we're repressing and not being truthful or honest or integrity or repressing what we want to say um, or being too harsh and brass, you know, that blocks the throat chakra. So we want to like have clarity coming through. I'm loving it. You got to speak with love. Speak with love. Right? And sometimes, you know, we, we speak neutral. Neutral is fine as long as it's not harsh. Okay. Now, moving on to page of earth. I love that. Scholarly, dependable, patient, successful. You know, good news about financial matters. Wanting to do something more challenging, a new area of study. So if you are on this healing journey, if you are, you know, a healer, you're tapping into new forms. So you're learning new things. You're learning. So if you are like him, he's making tonics and all these things. But now he's learning about sacred geometry and numbers, right? So... You know, and maybe the person that's with numbers is learning how to do healing herbs. Like we're learning new areas of study. Reiki, we're learning about the chakras. Um, yeah, she's got the world in her hands. It's beautiful, you know. And it's like this astral travel projection again. I'm seeing that twin flame energy again um, meeting in the astral plane. Like you guys have been connected in the astral plane for a very long time. And now you guys are moving that down to 3D. You guys are connecting here on Earth now. It's time... Okay, so page of earth, and um, so yeah, it's about good news, you know, a financial matter is coming soon, your plans move successfully forward at a steady pace, and um, do your research, you know, and you, ha you have wisdom beyond one's years, you know, um, so if you've been thinking about going back to school for something, definitely, and the final card is everything is beautiful, I love it, this is freedom, this is all leading us to freedom, 32. Uh, 32 is get ready to be dumbfounded in the best possible way. You will be speechless at how beautiful your life really is. Things that once seemed common that you often took for granted are about to show off their true colors. Real beauty is about to come into focus. You can thank the universe later. Oh, absolutely. You are seeing things that you didn't see before. So like the RZA from the Wu-Tang says, some things aren't truly visible until you're ready to see them. And your third eye is awakening and now you're ready to see things that you... It's like something's been in front of you this whole time. And this is that twin flame thing, right? A lot of twin flames, like they, you know, they, 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 something's been in front of them the whole time and they didn't even know, you know? So everything is beautiful. I'm seeing that, you know, that lavender crown chakra third eye energy here. And it's electric. It's like electric love. Beautiful. Newfound glory, you know? That's it, guys. And um, so it's five. It's five. Well, well, if you count the page, page is one. So six. So I'm going to go with five and six. It's freedom and balance. You know, freedom, balance, and nurturing. So I like that it's six because it's balance. So I'm going with both of them. So it's time to balance. Get with your rhythm. Get with your nature. Okay? And be fair, you know. What you're, if you're dealing with people, you know, you want to offer for your, what you're offering to people, it, it needs to be fair. You know, what's a fair price for what you do? You know, what's a fair price? And be fair with others, you know? You see how she's got the scale? It's like, it's balanced. You know, this is balance. This is all about balance. She's got balance here. So we're balanced, okay? We're connecting to that, that divine masculine, divine feminine, balanced energy. That left brain, right brain, okay? It's beautiful. It's leading you to your freedom. 
Okay, awesome. Moving on to 717. Okay, guys, 717, the twin flame number, guys. All right, so let me get my notes here. So along with, you know, 1111, it's a twin flame, along with 69, you know, 69 is, you know, the balance, the mirror aspect. Um, you know, this is asking you to see the truth. So I always say, you know, the one is you, and this represents the both sides. So it's a spirituality and truth. So, you know, balancing, um, mirror in a sense. So you're in the center, and this is like the balance of left and right brain, right? And this is a twin flame union number. Twin flame number. So it's asking you um, to see the benefit of the light and the dark, you know, and see the truth all around you. Uh, it's a very telepathic and spiritual number. This is like the, the, that's the spiritual number right there. Seven, seven, you know, so seven, one, seven, very spiritual. And it's six, which is about balance, right? It's about nurturing. So the balancing of left and right brain. Divine masculine, divine feminine energy. So it is a very, it's the twin flame number. So the song that came through for you guys is um, Flume, F-L-U-M-E. And the song is called Never Be Like You. And, you know, it's, it's talking about forgiveness of self. So usually you would think of the song, right? And it's, it's almost like, I'm going to pull up the song just so we kind of, what would I do to take away this fear of being loved, allegiance to the pain? Now I'm fucked up um, and I'm missing you. And when I'm seeing, it could be go both ways. Missing you as in your twin flame. Like if this was a, if you guys were in a relationship before and this is separation. But it's also missing you as you're looking in the mirror to yourself. You miss how you, you, you know, you, it's like you don't recognize sometimes. And, you know, forgiving yourself. One of the key things to the Twin Flame Union is, is forgiveness, forgiving yourself and those around you, letting go of grief, letting go of, you know, harsh energy and, and really ready to float like that feather right there. You really have to be able to float like that feather. Okay. And it says, I'm only human. Can't you see? I made a mistake. You know, tell me everything's okay. Um, and that's talking to your higher source. Like I made mistakes in my past and it's like, I'm only human. I've done it, you know, and I'm, but now I'm ready. I'm ready, you know, for, to be forgiven and I'm ready to move forward with my life and, and really, you know, just be a loyal and dedicated and honorable person. Okay. So that's the song flume. Never be like you. I love that song. It's cute. And guardian angel, guardian angel guys. So immediately, we see the all C and I. We see the Merkaba. It's a sacred geometry. It's beautiful. We got the sun and the moon representing. We got the purity feather of purity, spiritual connection. Oh, I love these cards. I don't know whoever got me these cards. Thank you so much. These are probably my new card, new favorite cards. And um, so we're seeing, you know, communication with spirit. We're, you know, we've got the Merkaba, the light body. We've got, we're connecting to our, our angels. We've got a guardian angel that's guiding us together for union. So we've been guided. And all we got to do is listen to the signs. You know, like how they say the feather is a sign from the heaven. We are following the signs. We are opening our third eye to see what the synchronicities mean. And we're following our inner wisdom and guidance. Both of these talk about that. They're the exact same card. So... That is a beautiful synchronicity. And it says, watch for signs and reminders from your angels and loved ones that they are close by. Remember, they are working hard to guide you. So whenever you see a, a feather, you know, that's the guardian angels, like, you know, and your, your, your loved ones. That's this message from them. So, and it's asking you to pay close attention, you know. So, and the night of earth is the divine masculine to me. I'm looking at him like, you know, loyal, dedicated, honorable, kind. That's the divine masculine energy. So I'm seeing this beautiful. We've got the goddess over here, Athena. And then we got him. And it's like, this is it. This is like, they're coming together. Um, this year and next year is a big, big twin flame thing. This is like the new earth, you know, this divine love. This is what it's all about. So we're going to get to... Um, you know, let's just discuss what uh, this one actually means real quick. It's real, it's, you know, renewed motivation, um, increased abundance, business travel, and a guardian angel. Holy cow. 
guardian angel this that's a beautiful synchronicity that you are being guided by your guardian angel to your divine feminine there's your divine feminine right there you know she's got her heart she's she's got all this she's got the pearl the mother energy like the not that she's a mother but she can be but the mother the mother pearl is intuition so she's very intuitive and she's got all this green so she's very loving got that heart chakra on fire and look at all this beautiful pastels you know the dome of uh, consciousness it's that higher heart sh she's on that higher heart chakra energy right so you got your divine feminine there and you got the divine masculine right here and i love it he's on this beautiful horse and the beautiful horse has this beautiful orb around his neck and it's like he's guiding him he's guiding him to the divine feminine Right? And so we got the warthog, which is 20, which is 2, which is creating something beautiful together, too. Right? You guys are going to create something beautiful together. And warthog um, is all about inner glow. So this one's inner glow. And it says, uh, stop being so concerned about what is on the outside. Your title in life, what you represent, where, drive, and what other people think are all inferior to the true you. Beautiful card, by the way. Um... Warthog is a reminder that what is truly important in life is what resonates on the inside. Your happiness, your spirit, your personal truths, your sense of sacred self, and your connection to the divine creator. When you, grow, when you glow from within, you exude a tremendous light that shines through. Your greatest strength will always come from within. Warthog is reminding you that your divinity is your birthright. Honor the essence of your inner light and nourish your spirit today. I always say that about um, Twin Flames, that the divinity is your birthright, always. So that's another beautiful synchronicity. This is a beautiful synchronicity. I'm spending, spending a lot of time on this one because I just love it. Okay, so, Warthog. Oh, so cute. Moving on to Athena. She's so beautiful. Okay, so, Athena. Stop procrastinating. Stop giving away your power to others. Trust your intuition. Don't second guess yourself. You are correct. So if you are thinking who your divine masculine is, that you are correct. Uh, notice reoccurring ideas and take action on them. So the synchronicities and signs and divine. So this is like divine inspiration. Write them down. All these ideas, they're great ideas. Share them with other light workers so you guys can bring it into reality. The two of co-creation. You guys can do it. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. Okay? And we got the owl here. You guys are probably seeing a lot of owl symbolism everywhere. And, you know, the intuition, the wisdom, inner wisdom. This is, like, beautiful. You guys are really on point. You guys are in that 5G energy. Oh, I love it. Okay, and look, we got 38, which is 11, which is the spiritual awakening. You guys are on point. You guys are seeing the signs. You guys are, you know, you guys are woke. Sun shines, lollipops, and rainbow everywhere. So you've probably been noticing a lot of rainbows as well. That's because, you know, somewhere over the rainbow is that fifth dimensional energy. So whenever you're seeing rainbows along with feathers and, you know, that's message from spirit, your loved ones, somewhere over the rainbow. So it's a, good, it's a good sign when you're seeing feathers, when you're seeing rainbows. Um, yeah. So you have every reason to skip, to hop, and to leap with joy. Optimism is the only reasonable choice because everything else is an illusion. Hope is the only thing that matters because it points to the inevitable. The glass is not only half full, as uh, Palms 23 says, it runneth over. So I love that 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 Bible verse is on there, um, you know, your cup runneth over. This is a, this, the love runneth over. Your cup of love is runneth over and you guys are coming together. It's beautiful. I'm seeing the number, let's see, 13. But then if we add the night, that's 14. So 13 is all about, you know, building a foundation for the future. And that is going to be what you guys are going to do together. You guys are going to build this new foundation for the future together. It's like you guys are coming together. And so five is, and when you add the night, that's five, that's freedom. So this is all, you guys are free. You guys are going to be free to, to live your life and experience and just have fun and really just have the most amazing and tremendous connection. It's this amazing synchronistic planet, a uh, beautiful universe. I love it. I love it. Okay, that was a uh, 717. Moving on to 808. Oops. Okay, guys, moving on to 808. 
so 808 whenever i see 808 I, it's like looking at bob b-o-b <laughs> Um, but 808 is reminding us of the abundance that God, earth, and your higher self has provided you. Everything you need to survive and thrive is right here on earth. So begin an attitude of gratitude for all that mother earth and God provides you. So I'm also seeing zero to me is always the unconditional love number. So I love that it came through. This is unconditional love, unconditional. This is like a infinite abundance on both sides with God in the center. You have abundance on all sides. Okay. So you have to have, you know, your, your connection to source. With connection to source, all things are possible. Infinite possibilities is what I'm, I'm seeing with this card, right? So, and the song that came through, I love it. It's called, um, it's by Brenton Wood, and it's called I'm the One Who Knows. And it's, it's just a cute little part where he's, he talks about, um, you know, this girl that's always in his dreams. So I'm seeing a lot of Twin Flame energies, a lot of dreams. This whole, this, this whole, pretty much this whole video is Twin Flame energy. Um, at night she's in his dreams and boy if you could just see the scene he's all dressed up in a hero suit a long cape with stars on his boots he rescues her from a fallen plane they fly away to a far off land and live a life that's really grand I'm the one who knows I'm the one who really knows so who knows everything God source source knows everything source knows this plan source knows that we are ascending to this new earth this new earth is a state of mind we are ascending and the divine masculine is trying to, you know, he wants to help the divine feminine and the divine masculine and feminine could be both male or female. It doesn't, there's no, sometimes the woman can embody the masculine and be the masculine and sometimes the man can embody the feminine. Um, so it can go either way, guys. So I love that song. I forgot how much I loved Brenton Wood when I, that song popped up and, you know, it's that, that puppy love feeling of like you know when you're on the phone and you say you miss them and you just saw them five minutes ago that type of energy you know I'm seeing that type of love energy oh, and my heart chakra just pinged really loudly okay so yeah I'm the one who knows um dreams and um I have a feeling that reading 311 will also resonate with you because that had the superhero card so I'm seeing like a connection here with 808 and 311 um 808 is also Hawaii's area code um, anytime I see 808, that's what I think. I think universal abundance and Hawaii. So, shaka, right? Shaka energy. So, now we move on to the cards. The wise one. So, grow within your current situation. So, I have a feeling, um, you know, anytime I see this card. Whoa! Sorry. So, okay, so the feathers, you know, the white is the connection to spirit. Um, and the feather is grounded to Mother Earth, you know. So that's the balance, the yin and yang connected as above, so below. Uh, divine feminine, divine masculine, balance, union, coming together. Okay, unconditional love, that higher heart chakra energy. Um, so this is beautiful. And um, this is, you know, the divine feminine. I'm seeing a lot of divine feminine energy here, you know. So... Divine, the song was Divine Masculine, talking about his feminine, and here's the Divine Feminine coming through. And, you know, she's cloaked in turquoise. That's communication, but it also reminds me of the ocean. She's, she's the water. She's the island girl, the, the water girl. She likes to be around water. She's also communicative. She talks. She's a singer. She's a, you know, a, a writer. She's, you know, communication. Uh, actress, any, any type of any type of creativity. Whenever I see this uh, blue, any, where, where you have to talk, you know, like host, whatever. Okay, so in the triangles, you know, that's um the divine masculine. So like that, I love it. And she's got the owl, so she's very wise. We know that, and I'm seeing the crow here. You know, the crow always brings gifts in their mouths to you. So. Look out to see what kind of gifts the crows bring you. Okay, moving on to Six of Air. Okay, so things are looking up. The end of a difficult situation, taking a trip. Six of Air, balance. Right, I love it. He's on a, it's, he's on a, he's on water. He's on a boat. He's on a boat. He's on a boat. He's sailing. I'm getting that song. Sailing. Takes me away to where I always heard it could be. Right? He's got this golden aura and energy, that Christ consciousness connection. He's like sailing the, the ocean, the, 
and I, I, this reminds me of the chariot, uh, you know, the going through the waters. It's beautiful. And sunsets and these golden sunsets. Things are looking up. The end of a difficult situation. Taking a trip. Yes, look up, guys. Seriously, metaphorically and uh, physically, look up. You'll be astounded. So six of air, I'm going to just talk about it real quick because it talks about like depression, you know, um, the end of depression or an illness, um, the resolution of conflict, leaving and moving on. So leaving situations that no longer serve you because now you're moving on. You are not of that vibration anymore. The winds of change, of the winds of change are blowing. You know, it's a favorable wind. This is a good time for making changes in your career, home, relationships, or just your outlook. So yeah, and I'm seeing a trip here. Maybe a trip to Hawaii. 808, that's the trip. You're sailing a cruise ship or like some sort of ship. So I'm seeing, yeah, that's, that's what I'm seeing. Don't ask me. I just tell you what I see. Okay, so Mary Magdalene, I love it. Because, you know, in the side D energy, that depression, we handle things differently now. We have this bulletproof soul now and we don't, we don't handle things the way we used to. We don't get into those, you know, the dark night of the soul is behind us. We, we've, we've come to the other side now, okay? And it's okay if you still get a little bit sad, depressed. That's our higher heart chakra feeling, feeling what we're supposed to be feeling. But love yourself, others, and every situation, no matter what the outward appearance may be. That is a 5D unconditional love energy. She's got the Christ consciousness cloak on her, you know? And I'm seeing this salve. She, you know, she's a holistic healer. So this can be, you know, uh, herbs, and this can be um, esthetician, skin care. This can be, you know, Reiki work, massage therapy. Like, that's what I'm seeing with this. If there's unconditional love, I'm seeing. Okay? And so ant... Do, 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 like alien ant farm. Um, so one is all about community. Um, this is like letting go of being the leader and just working well with others, you know, because the one usually wants to work alone. But this is saying like, you know, it's time to like connect with your soul family, build your community, build your community, you know, connect people, um, be the bridge. I'm seeing be the bridge. And I like that it says be the bridge because, you know, well, bridge, water, um, but you connect people. You know, you connect this person to that person. So uh, I found out that I was a bridge. So that was pretty cool when I realized, wait a minute, I've always connected people. I've always connected people with other people for opportunities, you know. So if you have that ability, I highly suggest being the bridge. Um, and share in your unique gifts with your, you know, with your other healers. And it's talking about participating in a service-oriented direction today. So honor, respect, and tolerance for yourself in the world. <clears throat> tolerance, compassion, unconditional love, and focus. So it's asking you to focus. So when we get into this meditative state, we want laser beam focus about what we want to create, what do we want to do, you know? And um, so 39 is um, bring your attention back to center, back to your intention. You've been wavering a bit, but all it takes to achieve your desires is a little bit of concentration. Focus on what you want, then focus again for extra laser-like precision and clarity. Relish the sweet feeling of zeroing in on that finish line. Zero. Yeah, so manifestation abilities. The wise one is very connected. The crown chakra uh, and, and uh, third eye for manifestation and the willpower, the yellow for um, the solar plexus chakra, right? And look at, I'm seeing this like tribal stuff here as well. So I am seeing Hawaii here, whatever, however that resonates for you. New Zealand, Australia, um, you know, any type of like island and focus. If that's where you want to go, make it happen. Manifest it. It'll happen. Okay. Come from a heart space. The unconditional, this is how you manifest the heart, the third eye, the, the sacral in unison. Okay. Bring it all together and create. So the Holy Trinity, divine masculine, divine feminine, bring it together. Okay, guys. And, um, breaks back down to one new beginnings. So opportunities, new beginnings, uh, uh, unique creative ideas come together with others to create new ideas. Okay? Awesome. Moving on to uh, 818. Okay, guys. 818. So 818, um, much like 808, it's reminding of the abundance that surrounds you. It's reminding you of your power to create the infinite abundance you seek. So whereas 808 was about reminding you that God supplies it all, this is reminding you that you are blessed, okay? 
you have to he's he's giving you the opportunities and you have to make them happen so you know here's the opportunity and now run with it so that's what 818 is to me um and 16 and 17 so it's back to eight so it's 888 it's beautiful beautiful synchronicity of abundance so you are abundant this is like um, inheritance type of energy like money coming in money is coming to you okay so however that you know abundance is coming to you right okay so <clears throat> and the song that came through for you guys was uh four non blondes what's up so it's reminding me of uh, sense eight the show sense eight on netflix um which is a very telepathic connection with others with your soul family your soul group um it's also a spiritual awakening. Like, what is up? I'm going outside. I'm stepping outside. And I'm seeing things so much differently now. And it's almost like you're on a natural high. Like, vibrating high. You can even feel your, vi your body vibrating. I call it the love buzz. You're feeling the, the energy move through your body. Um, so this is a change, an evolution. Um, funny how I got... <laughs> I don't know how I got all that from those lyrics. But that's what I got. Um, and it says, 25 years of my life is still trying to get up that great big hill of hope for a destination you know she cries sometimes when she's lying in bed just to get it all out what's in my head so i'm feeling a little peculiar that is also that heart chakra crying just to get it out because you have to move that energy through so you cannot repress emotion and stepping outside and taking a deep breath and filling your lungs and screaming because that's your throat chakra when we scream we release that throat chakra energy so go outside and sing go outside and yell something you know um And I'm asking God, you know, and I pray. Oh, my God, do I pray? I pray every single day for revolution. Yeah, we're, we're for evolution. You know, I don't, I don't want revolution. I want evolution. Okay, so that's what I'm praying for. I'm praying for the involvement of humanity. Okay, so, and revolution. What is a revolution? A cycle, right? Okay, that's a very cool synchronicity for that. And so we're going to Sage now. I love this. He's writing. He's a writer. He's writing in his journal. He's writing on his little leaf. He's writing to Mother Earth. He's got his little peacock, which is all about beauty. So it's be devoted and committed to your journey and to others. And I'm seeing this, you know, all his white hair is wisdom. He's, he's leaning against the tree. He's got that tree wisdom, that tree knowledge. He understands tree wisdom. And he's got his third eye. He's got the love in his third eye, the, the red dot, which is passion, love. Um, you know, he's seen with love. He's seen with love. Okay, and um, so yeah, um, let me see what I wrote in my notes for Sage, because this is a new deck, so I want to thank once again the person that got me this deck. So it's also like when I see the Sage, it's like burn Sage, right? Um, yeah, but it's all about integrity, writing truthfully, communicating truthfully, be truthful and, 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 and honest and, and have integrity in all your dealings uh, with this new earth energy, right? Um, yeah, six of water. I love that. Very emotional, very intuitive. I'm seeing like the diving deep in the ocean, the like energy, water energy. The last card was about like Hawaii, so ocean water. Uh, memories from your history or childhood and issues regarding children. And almost romanticizing the past of how things used to be, you know? Remembering like, oh, it used to be so much better when we were kids, right? But it's like, let's not live in the past. Let's harness that loving energy and remember it, but don't romanticize it because it can still be that good. You're almost thinking to yourself that it can never be that good again. But it can be. And I'm seeing this kid. He's like a mermaid. It's this little boy. He's diving deep. You guys are diving deep into your childhood. Your childhood traumas and your childhood stuff. It's coming up to the surface for transmutation. But look, at he's got his little twin flame over here. And she's, she's diving deep. But he's up on the surface. And she's like, yay, you did it. You can breathe now. And it's beautiful. Okay. So six of water. You know, it talks about, also talks about, um, you know, old issues that need to be resolved. Well, of course, we already talked about that. You may reconnect with friends or romantic partners from your past, but not because you're connecting with them because you're going to be together with them. But in order to move forward, you thank them. I, when I had my spiritual awakening, I called all my ex-boyfriends and I was like, thank you for your participation in my journey. No, I don't want to get back together, but I just want to thank you. Even the ones that really did me dirty. Um, 
because that was that's that unconditional like higher heart energy you're just like oh i'm grateful for every little aspect and everything that i've gone through you know so and new acquaintances may feel like familiar old friends because of you know past life connections so it's also talking about inheritance ah i was seeing inheritance with the 818 so you know gifts um reunions sharing sharing your 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 inheritance with others okay because when we give the universe rewards us back it's like give take Take, give, help each other grow, help each other live, right? Okay, moving on to cycles and rhythms. I'm seeing the northern lights. Um, the last one was about travel, um, but I'm seeing the northern lights here. Honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. So cycles and rhythms. Get with your rhythm, get with your nature, connect with Mother Earth, you know? Oh, this is so beautiful. I'm seeing this, like, the pastel colors, that's all higher heart chakra or higher chakra energy to me whenever i see the pastel colors so i'm seeing the the lavender is the crown you know we're seeing this turquoisey energy with the water so a lot of emotion here a lot of intuition here it's beautiful and she's got that staff it's like the staff of wisdom she's harnessing the water energy it's beautiful okay so mave if you watch um westworld mave 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 so you know, and, and what Maeve talks about is connecting, get with your rhythm, get with your nature, your natural cycles. I always tell people if they want to connect, uh, get the circadian rhythms going, walk outside barefoot. Okay, that's, do it. Do it for 10 minutes. Uh, if you can't do it for 10 minutes, just jump up and down three times and, and really push that energy down into the earth. So, um, make time to rest. Um, initiate steps to alleviate depression or lethargy. And I'm seeing that with grief in a sense. So if there's an inheritance, there must have been a loss, right? Take better care of your uh, body. Um, seek support for dealing with emotional crisis. You know, allow yourself to grieve or take time off. And uh, know that it won't last forever, right? A doorway to opportunity has opened up and you need to walk through it now. So there's an opportunity here, guys. There's an opportunity. I'm seeing intuition here with the awakening process, the 11, 1111 11 energy, this Kundalini energy. This is portal is open for you to walk through. I'm seeing this energy happening um, the eclipse that's coming up, walk through it. Shed what no longer serves you. And this kind of move this kind of leany energy up. Okay. Black Mamba Snake. I want to read that because I love it. Um, death of old ways. So death of old relationships and people that no longer serve your highest good. And listen to the, into, listen to the signs and synchronicities. You know, don't step into the same river twice. Holy cow. Okay, that's back again. So Six of Water was talking about relationships and exes coming back. This is saying don't step in the same river twice. You know, there's, there's, there's river snakes in that water and you don't want to step in there because you're just going to get burned again and you're going to be like, why did I do that? So snake cautions you not to step into the same river twice unless you need the lesson, you know. So life is forward movement. You know, seize this opportunity to reclaim your innocence, right? So... No exes, you know, that's why they're exes for a reason. It depends on the circumstance, though. I don't want to say not all of them. You know, there's a circumstance. It depends on how you, why you guys parted ways in the first place. You know, if there was cheating involved, i definitely say, no way. Do not get back with that person. Um, if there was any type of um, things that could not be taken back, no. Move on. Move on. Because, you know, or work through it. I don't know. It's your life. I'm just here giving you what the, the cards say. Okay, so nasty knot, um, and I'm seeing nasty knot, like the Celtic knot, so a three, so there was some sort of cheating involved in whatever X relationships that you are still harboring <laughs> over, so that's like, no, let that go. If somebody cheated on you in the past, let it go, let it go, okay? And I, I'm seeing this like, yeah, let it go, nasty knot. Despite how it looks, you can now slip easily out of your current ensnarement and only looks like quicksand. In reality, getting free is a piece of angel food cake. Ah, leave the drama behind. Yum. Oh, angel food cake. So I have a page called Inner Piece of Cake. Everybody always gives me crap because they're like, oh, you spelled piece wrong. No, it's P-E-A-C-E. -E. Inner piece is a piece of cake. Once we, you know, get to a certain point, like, it's a piece of cake. All you got to do is let go. It's detaching from things and people that no longer serve us, right? So it's just a play on words. So it's, it's leave the drama behind, guys. It's time to move forward. New things are ahead, okay? 
Your twin flame is ahead. Okay? If your person cheated on you, they're not. I just don't feel the twin flame energy when people cheat. I don't know. People are always saying, no, but yeah, no. I don't feel that. Um, because you guys, you know, I don't know. I just don't feel it. Some people could differ, but I don't feel that. They can be a, a karmic partner. Yeah. But I don't see the twin flame energy when people cheat. It's a pure love. It's a pure connection. And I, I, I only feel twins coming together when they are in that higher heart chakra energy. Okay? So, um, let's see what we got here. Um, so, 20, so two, so it's emotions. Uh, I'm thinking of that song Borns, uh, from Borns called Emotions. The emotions are coming out of me, right? Look at it, it's like coming out. Um, and it's like being very sensitive right now and being, have hurt feelings, but it's also about peace, love, and harmony and just wanting to just have a nice and peaceful life. So, this is time. You have the ability to do that. Just let go of the things, let go of the past pains that people have caused you because it was part of a learning lesson that needed to be learned for your evolutions process. So give them thanks and then move forward. Okay? Step into the, the doorways open. Forgive them and step into this doorway and into the 5D energy and don't look back. You know? That's it. Okay, moving on to the final 911. My favorite. Aside from 369. <laughs> Okay, guys, so we are at 9-11, one of my favorites. Actually, it is my favorite, um, aside from um, 369. So this is a very unique number. It is the light worker number, okay? Star seed, twin flames, the humanitarians that came to Earth to anchor the light for the souls who are trapped in the dark to find their way home. So 9-11 is reminding you of your purpose and why you are here. Purpose. I'm seeing that song from 311. Uh, you can look up the lyrics. To inspire and lead others to safety. On the flip side, if you do not resonate with the light worker theme, perhaps maybe you are the one in need of some light healing and seeing this number's call to action to reach out to someone who may be able to assist you, right? So it can go both ways. You know, you may need some light in your life, but I'm seeing this as light workers. I'm seeing that you are light workers. You are here to harness this light energy. You are twin flames. You are divine. You are 144,000. It's beautiful. And I just mentioned 311, and the song that came through was 311, The Continuous Life. That's been a theme in the songs here. So three, I've already mentioned three is the Holy Trinity, and 11 is inspiration and intuition. So creating and inspiring others. So that's why we're here. This is, this is uh, the light workers, you know? This is the healers. This is the creators, the musicians, the, the writers, the actresses, you know, the artists. This is it, okay? So, and... 9 plus 1 plus 1 is 11. So we've got uh, another 11 there. And then we got 11 here, 1 and 1. So very cool. And I'm actually going to read the lyrics to The Continuous Life because it's, it reminds me of uh, the Pi video. So in Pi, so I highly suggest watching the 311 video as well if you got this reading. Um, but also watching Pi because The Continuous Life talks about the continuous life on that one as well so this is like crazy synchronicities for this video so um and it talks about the ascension process right astral travel um it's the continuous life moving through life moving through death um radio emits a signal a strange noise the kind of which i've never heard before so yeah we are receiving signals from the the, the cosmos guys um I think that this song is, um, if I'm not mistaken, it's on Transistor. And what is Transistor? Radio, right? So, so we just get this uh, eerie feeling. We almost feel like we're dreaming. Like, is this real? The synchronicities are out of control. So it says, lift off and I'm into the sky as if a hologram were created to shift my consciousness. So I just saw a UFO the other night and it did seem like this weird hologram that was just spinning around like a Merkaba. And it was creating all these geometric shapes and colors. It was amazing. Um, I'll post that video, um, or maybe I might, I might include it in here.
So, and it's talking about wanting to be free, you know, moving through life, moving through death. Um, there was another part that I wanted to talk about. <laughs> On a sky blue conversion van or an Electra Buick of the mindful of humanist matter. So I'm seeing those little, the vans, you know, the VW vans. Because I'm finally out of my body. The blue lights are ablaze. Yes, I'm really amazed. And feeling so light. That's right. Lift off and I'm into the sky. So, yeah, we are ascension. This is the ascension process. Blue lights. This just came up with all the blue. Come full circle. Very cool. So... Moving on to um, Heart Guardian. Um, such an amazing synchronicity with the Sacred Heart and the Heart Guardian with me yesterday. Um, but I'm fascinated. So, where is the Heart Guardian? I made my notes. Once again, this is a new deck. Very grateful. Um, so, the Heart Guardian. Um, the Sacred Heart. You know, gold wings. I made these notes yesterday. And, you know, I was working on this all morning yesterday. And there was a big synchronicity that involved this. So, um, you know, we see the sacred heart. It's gold. So it's that Christ consciousness energy tapping into the love, the passion. It almost looks like she's holding a rose. You see the rose, right? And so, you know, the heart guardian, um, love and let yourself be loved. So I'm seeing like red also fearing love. You know, it could be passionate, but it's also fearing love. Almost saying F you to love. Um, that's what I'm seeing here. Um, like the middle finger giving you an F you to love. This is like, you know, being f afraid of it. And it's talking about, you got to let yourself be loved. You got to be open to it. You know, she's got this, the Ruby ring on right here. And you know, Ruby is letting go. It helps you let go of fear. Um, but it also brings passion into your life. So I highly recommend it. And I'm seeing, I'm hearing the song, the Rose by Bette Midler. I highly recommend going to listen to that song as well. Um, and you'll understand a little bit about the seed that you are, the star seed that you are. Right? I actually want to read this. So, welcome with open arms, opportunity to give and receive love. So, if you've been hurt in the past, it's time to let it go because it's time to love again. The heart guardian is an angelic energy that can help you call for protection and guidance with all issues surrounding the heart. This is essentially the angel who helps you with all relationships, whether they be with yourself, family, or a romantic connection. She can enable you to move beyond any limiting fears about trust and discern whom to trust and understand how you can move forward in a balanced relationship with that person. In this card, she is adorned with a sacred heart and draped in a red cloak to show her capacity to let love lead the way. Like Lenny Kravitz says, you've got to let love rule. Okay? And I'm going to read the extended message just because I want to. Because it's the last one. So, and it's the best one. Um, you are love, lovable and loving. The energy of love is surrounding your whole world at this time. Angels are swirling around you, encouraging you to open your heart and reveal the blessings that you have to offer. They want you to know that you are a highly loving being who deserves to give and receive love. If you are finding it challenging to feel love at this time, it's important for you to give yourself credit where it's due. You are also encouraged to welcome support from others. Learn to receive. Don't try and do everything on your own. If you are working on a relationship or in a new relationship, this card can usher in energies that allow you to forge a powerful connection with your partner. Love is in the air. So if you've been thinking about somebody, this is like love is in the air. It's a time to connect with them. Um, and if you are getting out of a relationship, it's time to let it go to make room for this new love to come in. Okay? Beautiful, beautiful card. I love that one. Oh, child. Ace of air. Oh, this is so pretty. I love this. Pegasus. Pegasus. And she's on the tree branch because she's got that tree wisdom. She knows. You know, she's purity, love, passion. She knows. Brilliant new ideas and inspirations. Seeing the truth of a situation. A challenging beginning. So, yeah. And um, I'm going to get to that in a second. So, Ace of Air. Um, turning a negative into a positive. So, you know, like if you went through a breakup and it's time to move on, move forward. We're turning that negative into a positive now, you know. Um, brilliant intellectual solution. Yeah, like use your intellect to create solutions. Um, new ideas now take flight. Expe expect great inspiration to come, possibly from an event or situation that had previously troubled you. Now you see the opportunity to create something amazing and you're full of excitement. 
Focus your thoughts on your long-term goals and create a plan of action. You now see the truth of the situation. Confusion is gone and clarity has taken its place. Your new understanding replaces previous misconceptions. Now you're ready to move forward. Beautiful. And I love it that I love that Artemis is here because she's got the bow and arrow and it's almost like she's shooting the arrow of love in your direction. And it's like, are you ready? Put down your armor because so she, so she could shoot that love at you. Right. But she's also letting you know that you're spiritually protected and you're not going to get hurt. OK. And I love it. It's like passion and fire. And she's like fire over here, like passion and red, <clears throat> but gentle. She's gentle. She's fiery, but she's gentle. OK. So, Artemis. Oh, it reminds me of Artemis Prime. <laughs> or what is it? Optimus Prime? Artemis Prime. Um, so, you are... I'm going to put it up here so you guys can see. Um, you, are, you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. Like me, you have a sacred mission to spread love and light. Yet, this isn't a position that comes from tension or worry. Instead, the gentle essence of a joyful, joyful heart and lighthearted laughter sets your power into motion. How could you be unsafe when you've called upon the spiritual warriors to watch over you? Your prayers have activated the protection of heaven. So ease your mind of all cares and concerns and concentrate instead upon your divine mission. Yes. You are being guided. You are being watched. You are being protected. And I love this. Artemis is the twin sister of Apollo, the sun god. She's a, par a powerful, tomboyish goddess who prefers to spend her time in the woods with wild animals. Artemis has carried a bow and arrow ever since they were given to her in childhood. Yet she never uses them to hurt anything. Rather, the energy of her bow and arrow is a talisman that helps her focus her thoughts and intention. And she always reaches the mark of her manifestation. Artemis helps us concentrate and focus as well. Yes, focus is a huge deal. When you're working with your third eye, you really need to focus your intention to create your reality. Okay? So focus, 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 focus. Forward focus. Okay. Um, Deek Deek. I love Deek Deek. Because, like, it's 11. 11. It's beautiful. Oh, and she's so gentle and she's precious and she's, you know, she's got this beautiful fire energy as well. But gentle, just gentle. Look at Dick Dick is, it's almost like Dick Dick is over here too. It's gentle and loving and, you know, beautiful and gentle and loving. And I love this energy that's here. Okay, so let's look at Dick Dick. Um, because I love Deek Deek, you know, and it talks about release any harsh judgments of yourself or others. You know, take a vow of silence today. So meditate. Meditate to connect for the answers and to connect to this passionate energy and this love. Meditate. Connect with your twin flame. That's what that's saying. Being gentle allows your body to heal at a cellular level. Yes, meditation heals you at a cellular level. Highly recommend it. And horns are associated with psychic awareness. Okay, so, you know, meditation, yoga, mindful activities will support your growth right now. So, yes, definitely meditate. Yoga, tai chi, something mindful. Like I said before in the previous reading, praying is talking to God and meditating is listening to God. So, we want to meditate and listen. Listen to what comes through. We're going to have brilliant new ideas. Divine inspiration is going to flow down like a, like a beam, like a UFO laser beam going down, right? Okay. Um, yeah, so moving on to right side up. I'm remembering the last reading had, I think the last reading had, um, one of the last readings had the laser beam card. Anywho. Right side up, blue. There's that blue energy. The, the song talked about that blue light beam turning into that blue light body, right? Astral travel, astral projection, connecting with your twin flame in the astral world, but now we're bringing it down to earth, bringing it down here because you guys are in the air and now, you know, it's down because this is very grounding energy. So it is now safe to unbuckle your seatbelt. doesn't matter how it looks. You're on the right path. Unseen forces are w working behind the scenes, smoothing out the bumps, righting all the injustices. Any apparent blip is nothing but a reminder to pay attention to say thank you. The scales are tipping in your favor. Finally, guys. Everything is coming back into balance. It's time to trust that what goes down must come up. Oh, absolutely. As above, so below. It's like it was upside downward for a long time. Now things are going to start shifting because... We are creating evolution. We are evolving. It's like we are done 
with the way things used to be. We're moving into this higher heart chakra energy where we love and support each other. We use our psychic gifts and we have telepathy because we don't care who reads our mind because our mind is pure, right? There is truth. Like our, all our secrets are out. We've, there's no more secrets. So when there's no more secrets, telepathy is a beautiful thing, okay? So, yeah, oh, so awesome. And it's eight, infinite abundance. So seven and eight. I love it. It's time. It's time for all of us to get together and, and, and create this new world that we've all been envisioning, okay? And manifest it from your heart, that heart energy. So, okay, so that's this reading, guys. Thank you so much. And uh, remember, Continuous Life by 311. And um, what was the other one that I saw? Oh, The Rose by Bette Midler. Okay? Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much. Namaste, everybody.